what we're here for is what we call the seventh annual Western National Robot Rodeo. And it's really a, a fancy title for a technical competition and capability exercise for our state and local bomb squads and military EOD teams. EOD is the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Teams. So we have nine teams represented um, from around the state. So we have all the state bomb squads. We have 10 different scenarios that we set up. They have typically about an hour and a half to run a scenario. This scenario, which I'll touch on, they have to go inside this uh, an, a mobile arcade. So we got pinball machines and rock music going and lights flashing. And they have to work inside that environment with their robot and deal with all that background noise. We have a scenario that's uh, based on a mass casualty. So we're giving these guys, they're expecting some type of rodeo robot scenario on that one and it's purely medical. They step out and have to deal with this mass casualty. They're the first responder like they got interrupted at a movie. Then we have some scenarios here in this high security fence. That's the scenario that somebody had left a backpack bomb that they tried to throw up over the fence but it got caught up into the barbed wire and then they panicked and left another one on the ground. Once they got either that backpack or found the other one that was already on the ground they used a second robot if they wanted to and took it over to this live x-ray system that we had. And typically that type of x-ray system on the end of one of these larger robots, but we decided to change it up and put the x-ray system on the ground and have the smaller robot bring the backpack in and out of the live x-ray system. Those guys had to work with x-raying the package and determining what's inside while the rest of their team is still trying to get that backpack that's up tangled up in the, the barbed wire, how do they get it down to the ground and then x-ray that one if they can. And you know that's really the whole purpose of the, of the robot rodeo is to give these guys training, you know, how well is the operator at, at playing with his robot? Well they're looking at a little screen, they're far away and their three-dimensional world just went perfectly flat. And they have to deal with all these realities that I can't just easily look around and get the three-dimensional aspects of this. I have to look at my tiny little screen. I've got to try and remember what position is my robot in. It can get crazy, but fun. So my colleague up in Los Alamos, Chris Ori and I, again, this is our seventh year, and we know our New Mexico teams are just never enough training money for them. And where do they have access to resources like we have at Sandia National Laboratories? They don't. So we make that available for them. They get some of the best training. And who knows, maybe they have a bomb call in your neighborhood and we can say, hey, we help train them. They're going to be some of the better teams, in, in the, certainly in the state and in the nation. And, and that would be good for me to know. So I, I like that part of what we do.